Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about the uh, changes to the 2020 AP Calculus, uh, specifically BC exam. Um, and so, first of all, uh, it's all free response questions. And so, uh, my source for this is Trevor Packer, who is the guy from College Board who uh, is in charge of, I think, the AP program, and he tweets all the information. So, I got that from Twitter and screenshot it and put it in just so that you know it's true. So it's gonna be 45 minutes, all free response, uh, online, you're gonna take it at home, I guess. Uh, so let's see what's gonna be on this thing. So um, these are the things that will be on BC. So units one through eight, which is like, we're gonna focus on what's not on it really. Uh, so it's units one through eight and then five topics from unit 10. I'll tell you what those are in a second. What's not on it, unit nine, and then uh, unit 10, except for the topics that are on it. So it turns out that I don't really know uh, what the units are in this. Um, so then I like dug in and found that. So your source for this is this URL. So head there if you wanna see it for yourself. So let's talk about what all the stuff that isn't going to be on the exam is. First of all, unit nine, not going to be on it. So we got parametric equations, polar coordinates, and vector value functions. You can read all those things, but it like basically just boils down to parametric, polar, and vector value functions. They're not on it this year. Um, so for some of you, maybe that's good. Some of you, maybe it's not so good. Uh, so my source for that, for the information, is the uh, course and exam description, and you can download a copy yourself if you'd like to, right there. So we're not doing anything with parametric, nothing with polar, nothing with vector value. It's crazy, but you know, it's crazy times. So uh, that's okay. They had to make choices. They made choices. I think they're good choices. Um, I do think though, at some point, uh, if you're planning to move on with uh, math and science, uh, things that you would need this for, sit down and learn it. Uh, there's a lot of videos on the internet. I have a lot of videos on this stuff. My notes are out there. Um, it's worth knowing, but in terms of focusing for the AP exam, skip it. Uh, all right. so. Unit 10 is a little more complicated. So that's infinite sequences and series. So some of it's on it and some of it is not on it. And I like quintuple check this. So I'm pretty sure, like I'm sure that I got this right uh, as of the time that uh, I'm making this. So the following things are not on it. These are not going to be on the exam. So defining convergent divergent series, nth term test, integral test, comparison tests, um, so it's basically like a lot of the, the series tests are just out. Um, absolute versus conditional convergence, not going to be on it. There won't be any error. So no alternating series, no Lagrange error bound. They're not going to be on it. Um, radius and interval of convergence, out. Um, finding Taylor and Maclaurin series for a function, out. So that's series, which uh, I'm thinking like, you won't be doing like compositions, I think, of like e to the uh, x minus five or something like that. Um, representing functions as power series, not going to be on it. Um, so then the question sort of remains, so what's on it, right? So these are the series things that aren't on it. So the next page, we have all the things that will be on it. So these are definitely going to be on, they're definitely gonna be on it because they cut a lot of stuff out and this is all that's left, so like, you're, you're gonna be doing these things. Uh, work with geometric series, which is good because those are like the most basic series. Harmonic series and P-series, those are the next most uh, basic series. So it's like they've left in kind of the, the basic stuff. Um, alternating series test for convergence, uh, which is, is not a terrible test, so that's good. Ratio test for convergence, which I'm thinking uh, that both of those are far more likely to be like, here's a summation, uh, does this series converge, does it diverge, uh, something like that. Um, and then finding Taylor polynomial approximations for functions, so I'm thinking there could be a table problem. We don't know exactly what the exam will look like yet, all free response questions, um, and these are the series things that are on it, nothing from polar, parametric, vectors, um, but everything else that was in Calc AB is definitely on it. So uh, these are the things, so I would focus on these to study, ignore parametric polar and vector valued, and then uh, anything before that, study that. So 
that's it. I hope you find this helpful and maybe clarifying, uh, and good luck.